Hey guys, welcome back to Adam Smashers! Today we're going to play with compact machines. Yeah, we need to try and build ourselves a little area where we can play around with these miniaturization devices, make massive 16 by 16 by 16 block machines that will compact down to a single block. Oh, it's going to be amazing and glorious! But once again, I've got some chests inside my house. Oh, there's, there, we just keep getting overfilled with gifts. It is a glorious and amazing. Now, this one down here, Decipher, my friend and buddy, unfortunately, life has caught up with him. He needs to go off and do stuff, and that means he doesn't have enough time to play on the server anymore. Super sad times. Like, really is super, super sad times. But he's left me a couple of gifts. Yes, all this limestone and some digital miners. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, actually, I'm going to pop that back in there we're gonna go walk around for a little bit and talk about where we're gonna build this miniaturization area we need enough space to be able to like build an area inside that represents the compactified oh it's a horse <laughs> i thought that was a witch for a second the compactified machine so uh, uh with the completion of the arc we have moved the animal pens that were down here you're right buddy how's it going uh so i feel like we could just kind of chop off the grass somewhere around here and build ourselves a nice little area here and I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do we need some uh, pillars that is a must this tree super in the way let's uh, let's put this down here chop down this tree bam get out of here you're, you're too much you're just too much uh, I think maybe even that one over there is gonna go I like the birch trees and they're gonna stay but yeah let's uh let's clear off some space and build ourselves a monument It's almost definitely not its final form. In fact, it's just not its final form. There's no even almost definitely about it. It's definitely not its final form. Uh, if nothing else, I need to go around and replace the stone with the grass. But I'm thinking what I actually want to do is draw some sort of like circle around the lot, do some sort of like Doctor Strange style symbols underneath it, kind of imply that the magic that is actually going on here is actually going on here. Now, what magic is this? I've already been... I've already gone ahead and told you that it's all about compacting machines down, but let's try and do something with it, shall we? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk on in here. I'm going to place down a bit of redstone, uh, sorry, a bit of iron, put a bit of redstone on top, and I believe I need to stand from the outside and throw a bit of redstone in. Yeah, there we go. It does a little bit of voodoo magic or high-tech science wizardry, shall we say, and pop. Out comes a few of uh, these blocks here. Now, these are used to make uh, the the room, if you will. So we build a room in here, and it compacts it down to a single size. But I need a lot more. I want to build this maximum compact machine. And you can see we need 98 compact machine walls. That's the things we've just made. And a block of emerald. An entire block of emerald. So uh, I think we can do that. I think we can definitely do that. If I come out of here and uh, throw another piece, uh, I'm going to do this a few times, a couple of times. Uh, I'm also going to get out of here. <sighs> We're going to break into the emerald stash. Uh, it's actually nine we need, right? I might even go and abduct a villager at some point so that we can make more emeralds, nice and simply. I'm not, I'm not sure what I would like to do. Uh, quest update, fancy stuff. Fancy stone is ready for doing again. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We might very well go and do that. But yeah, but as I say, I'm going to do this a few times and I'm going to come back when I have uh, seven, seven stacks of these. So as well as the big final block, we've also got these two other things that we need to make before we can actually go ahead and make this the best we possibly can. Uh, it unfortunately does mean that I've got to use up a few of these items in my hand. I've just realised that I don't even have enough. But let's start this one thing and then we'll do a jump cut afterwards. Uh, so we're going to put one of these blocks down there. This should hopefully still leave me, leave me with enough uh, to do final things with afterwards. The 98 that we need. 94, was it? But anyway, I'm going to put this weird structure down and I'm going to surround it with glowstone and then uh, redstone and then I'm going to throw a bit in there and hopefully we get another bit of high-tech wizardry here oh that's beautiful absolutely beautiful and out should pop two tiny tiny little items these ones seem to take a little bit longer than the actual blocks themselves but here we go pop where'd they go Wait, where, where, where did it go? There we go, they're on the floor. I couldn't even see it. Well, this one works exactly the same as the last one, apart from we've got a block of redstone up there instead of a hopper. Now, does this one take just as long as the last one? I don't know, it looks like it's going to. Look how slow this edge is disappearing in there. Let's just kind of hide in the middle. 
There we go. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Now the next question I've got is: they want 96 blocks. Let's let's have a look. 98 blocks uh, led around in a certain pan here. I don't think that's a solid block. We're supposed to put this emerald in the middle, I believe, if I remember correctly. If the tutorial was right, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so this is what it wants me to do. Is that one or two layers on the bottom? Is that just a single layer around the outside and then the emerald in the middle? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a moment to study this a little deeper off camera. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's just a single layer there. I really do think that's just a single layer. So uh, we'll put a little cross down like this, and I'm about to lose daylight. No, 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 this is not the thing. Lots of things spawn around me and come running at me. Thankfully, the health has been kind of tweaked down a little bit, so things are hard, not tedious. So that that's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's get a, a good sleep. Okay, let's get back to the important thing, shall we? I have covered up my central dot, but I do believe it is just this one here. That's pretty good. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that down there. I'm going to put the emerald in the middle like so. We should be able to just break it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And now it's just a simple case of going around, placing down all the blocks, trying your best not to misplace them. I mean, you guys know Minecraft, right? doesn't matter how careful you are. There is still always a mistake to be made. Oh, man. Didn't really think about this bit fully. I, ooh, 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 ooh. One, two, jet, jetpacks and flying. It's uh, all good fun when you're just trying to jump up a single block space. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fill all this in. All right, nice. 12 left over. That's pretty good, pretty good. Everything's got a lovely orange tinge in it from uh, inside here. That's that, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, so you may remember from the... Let's have a look in the... Uh, the recipe over here. I need an ender pearl to throw into the field to make it work. Now, I don't have any ender pearls. You, might, you guys might remember that I used them all making these things and the pers personal miniaturization device there. But there's always a way around these things. So if we come down to the silver... Uh, I actually need to make myself a silver coin first. So we detect... Uh, there we go. It's picked it up. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna, I was gonna back out and be like, oh, now we gotta go back in there and back out and rah rah rah. But thankfully, we can just kind of uh, detect that one. Hopefully, it'll take the silver out of my hand. This has not really changed. I'm gonna hit the claim button. It didn't work. Go in and out. Let's see. It detected that. Okay, that's fine. Man, better, better questing needs. Just a little bit of tweaking here. I'm not sure if it's like server client lag or something like that. I, I literally have no idea. But. Here we go. Let's make this first machine that I've been trying to make for a little while now. Throw. Okay, that is a lot of blocks there. That is 98 plus an emerald block. An entire, entire emerald block. That was a lot of emeralds. I, I definitely do feel like we'll be moving villagers in here. Maybe, like, to have them as air traffic control or something like that. We'll put them up in a tower somewhere. Oh, that... That would be beautiful. I kind of like boxed myself into a, a building style here. Well, not even a building style, but like building locations by putting the arc right here. I'd like to build stuff here, but I can't. I can't go up too far because you know there's a spaceship there. Okay, uh, is this ready? Is this, Are we going? Are we going to pop? Whoop. Oh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Now, I'm not sure if these things need power to r run. Uh, maximum Compact Machine provides a 13 by 13 route, which is exactly what I wanted. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Ooh, was that another slime over there? I've got to be careful because what I've gone and done is put a little trench here of uh, the core meltdown liquid. Uh, and that stuff not only does it burn you, but it also, like, gives you horrific poisons and, and stuff like that. It's, it's all bad all round if you fall in that which obviously is the best thing to use for a moat I, I thought so anyway uh also forest went around i don't know what he used he did warn me he said there's now sp uh, slime spawning everywhere i agree there are slime spawning everywhere okay let's try and put this one down in the middle of the room here and i want to know if my personal shrinkage device will take me in there <laughs> oh nice all right look at this room look at this room it's huge right absolutely huge that's fine. We can definitely make use of this. We're gonna... What are, what are we gonna do here? What we're actually gonna do... Not a redstone tunnel. We're gonna put down an actual tunnel on the side. Now, I'm looking south. I'm gonna put this three up because we can always rearrange. Okay, polished granite down. No, I don't want that to be down. How do we make that not down? Uh, up? North? South? East? West? Okay, cool. All right. So, I'm in the south. I want it to be at south. Uh, north, south. There we go. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now, my plan is to go through and put all my ore processing uh, plant here. So, uh, let's leave. Yeah, cool. It, it works exactly as I thought it would. That's good. 
I like this. I like this. Uh, the thing I want to point out when we when we load, hopefully, hello, loading screen is loading, uh, is on the south side, which is this side. No, nah, there's no real machine north, east, south. Is this is this south? That is south. So this side should be accepting stuff. Do I put that on there? No, but it does show. Oh, oh, is that an open hand thing? That is an open hand. It does show us that tu that tunnel on there. Okay, okay. There also seems to be a bit of screen artifacting on the go, but I'm fine with that. All right, time to put that in there. So there we go. I've replaced all of this lot with these three blocks here. Now, I've left my steel set up here because, well... I don't want all the iron that I feed into here going into steel. I want to get the iron out the end and know for definite whether I want it to turn into steel rather than just all the iron turning into steel. Now let's do a little bit of a test, shall we? If I open up this bad boy, let's go... I don't know, half, half a stack of silver sounds like a great idea to me. We just pop it in the top and immediately you see it is draining through. Now we're not going to see it in the bottom chest yet because I've got like wash plants and stuff in there. So let's go inside and have a look. Now it's going to be a little underwhelming when we get in there, but it's alright. This isn't the only... Hey, how's it going? This isn't the only thing that I want to use it for. So uh, there we go. It's literally macerator, wash plant being fed by a uh, sink back there, and then the furnace to pick up all the items, all the dust, and cook them down. So if we come up here, as I say, macerator, turning it into a bunch of crushed items there it comes down through this pipe i was kind of hoping that we could see it but not uh it goes into this one uh, i was also hoping that it would split equally amongst the two that's not happened but it does also kind of mean that i can throw in more items up top uh, look, the tunnel there that's how it will come through the chest uh i was kind of uh, it kind of means that i could throw more than one type of item up top more more than one type of metal and then it will just fill this one up first and then fill this one up and we're not having to wait for all this to empty before the second one comes in down below are turning the purified dust into the ingots and also this chest here i kind of needed to put this here because the wash plant here we go you can see the stuff through also makes that concrete powder or the cf powder or something like that uh it's, it's crushed dust whatever it is uh and some small little piles of whatever the corresponding item is uh, that goes down out the back here and all of it empties out into a chest at the bottom not the most efficient setup but it's still pretty good but i also want to set some other things up let's come out of here because i have some more items oh wow let's let's get that back i have these items here that unfortunately they they don't go through a macerator that it just doesn't happen but i can do things with the industrial grinder so if we come over to this chest that is full of stuff that i either forgot about or lost um like the thread with or don't know what to do with like what why do i want these i don't know well anyway that's my chest of random stuff there we can pick up the stuff for the industrial grinder now of course i remember exactly how this goes together uh, and it's not at all going to be a a case of trial and error inside the space so I'm gonna go and set it up inside here okay so I've put it over this side of the room I spawn in over there uh, and I forgot that we actually needed to have some water in there thankfully a bucket was kept inside my uh, my little tool chest uh, tool sack there let's uh, empty that one out and have a look at what we've got here all right now I know the first thing we need is to try and get some water but I think I think I'm gonna go make another sink that might be the better way of doing it if we put a sink there uh, and then we can like kind of feed stuff in I've got some power running maybe from there down and into the top do I have the power cable on me still I don't all right let's go and get these things Okay, let's see how this is going to work. We'll put the sink down here and put the liquid pipe there. It doesn't auto-fill. That's a little unfortunate. How about like this? Glug, glug, glug. Tell me it's going in. It's going in. All right, awesome. And then I want to kind of take some power up here. Ooh, ooh, there's a hole in the top. I'm not sure if that indicates where I'm supposed to put the stuff in or not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hey, can I... Oh, that, that wasn't what I wanted. That wasn't what I wanted at all. Okay, we're going to put that one there and break this. This should work out pretty well for us. I think we're just going to go straight up. Uh, it's kind of the most reasonable way of doing it. And then pop that there. Okay, so we got power flowing as well is this going to work just like this uh, i'm not sure if i need to put anything else in here but let's get these nether ruby um ore here hmm let's think let's think i kind of want to have another input and output like maybe we'll have a tunnel here that would probably be quite useful south yeah, yeah, yeah. South was the side I wanted, uh, but I, of course, did not bring any item ducks with me. 
All right, I'm actually going to start off by placing this chest here. I think I think that's the better way of doing it. And we come in. Oh, I should have put the ruby into that chest. Oh, well, we will make do, make do. I keep losing my orientation when I come through here. And then hopefully we can just kind of click through through like that uh, configurator should win the day here okay that's looking good I really wish I had put the ruby into the chest outside but that's alright we can just pop outside do a biggity bam and see what's going on there uh, wait has it disappeared it's not disappeared south side south side okay we're gonna have to go and find out what's going on there that's not how i enter this this is how i enter this S observe the ways okay so it's not connected it might be the th might be the fact that we needed to go in up top I, I kind of saw that and was hoping that it wouldn't be the case no that's not the case okay can these not feed in here Do I, am i supposed to feed in somewhere else i don't know i'm gonna play around for a little bit until i until it works i was kind of expecting it just to work also look at all the items leaving ah it's great Oh, somehow this horrific contraption works. I, I'm not overly impressed with that, but I suppose we'll make it do. Unfortunately, we couldn't get this to connect on the top. That That's actually a, a great shape. Now, the next real question is, can I pull out the bottom? No, I cannot. That, that was kind of what I was hoping to do. If I... No, I can change the colour. Uh, that I mean, I suppose that's a thing, but that's not really what I'm after. Maybe I need another... Well, it looks like I'm going to need another... Uh, oh... Oh, ah, that doesn't. All right. Well, what about on top? Let's let's just do this quickly now. Let's see where we can feed in a hopper from. Like surely, surely it interfaces with the the standard Minecraft stuff. I just cannot. That that's that's not how you do that. I I cannot think that that is how they would do that. Uh, I just what 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 is the magic? How does this connect? Oh man. All right. I'm gonna have to go away and find that out. Uh, I did it, I did it. I didn't even have to turn to the internet. I found this little wrench down here. Uh, I clicked on the slot I wanted. I all I inputted. I clicked a few times. I don't know if this matters. It's blue, that's red. I, uh, I don't know. Uh, and then here, auto output. The thing's connected. It kind of looks to me like it will work. Let's go outside and place the ruby ore into the chest. It, it's kind of got to, right? It's kind of got to. Oh, night time, is it? Yeah, it is. All right. Time to be a little bit aware, but there we go. Right, okay, okay, that's that's not working. Uh, probably something to do with the colours, right? Something to do with the colours. Let's go and find out. Play with stuff. It's it's the only way you're ever going to learn how to do stuff is just play with it, right? How about blue? How about blue? No, ah, oh, but it's connected. Oh, I found it. I, fa I found it. I found it. It was this one, it turns out. So what are these two for? When I was looking in the JEI, look, it looks very much like it belongs in one of these two. But but no, no, it goes over there. Now we're not outputting. Okay, that's, that's probably something else to do with my terrible, terrible selection choices here. So let's try that. That's not going to auto-output that way. Not going to auto-output that way either. Oh, it's it's just lots of playing around at the moment. Absolute lots of playing around. I mean, I, I love that, don't get me wrong, but I wish it was a little bit easier. Of course, the problem was the pipe, not the machine. The pipe, not the machine. Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, that, well, there we go. Whew. Bumps and roundabouts and all sorts of things going on there, but I think we finally got the industrial grinder set up. Oh, yeah, all right, let's leave. <laughs> And with that, I'm afraid it's time to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, today we played with the compacting machines and managed to compact all our ore processing materials down into a single block. Single block. Next time we will be, uh, as dictated by the quest, working on things like the centrifuge and the industrial blast furnace. I see a uh, metallurgic infuser on the way there. Maybe even finally get around to doing a little bit of cybernetic implantation but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye